from a potential daytime comet to one of the longest solar eclipses in decades. 2024 is going to be a pretty crazy year for astronomy and astrophotography, and here's everything you need to know about it. Now in this video we're only going to be covering the two biggest events of this year, which are the daytime comet and this exceptionally long solar eclipse that's happening in April. Number one. The thing that you have probably been hearing about non-stop for the last few months is the Great American Solar Eclipse. This eclipse will be going from Texas all the way to New York. Over 50 million Americans are traveling to go within a small little tiny line spanning most of the United States. Again, the Great American Solar Eclipse will be on April 8th, 2024. Cities like Dallas, Texas will get four and a half minutes of totality. This is exceptionally long for a solar eclipse. This length will actually go down, however, to 3 minutes and 45 seconds when it hits Buffalo, New York, which will be directly in the path of totality. Just because you're not in this line does not mean you will not be able to see the solar eclipse. Almost everybody in the United States will be able to see it, albeit they will not be seeing it 100% where it gets super dark, but the sun will get eclipsed by the moon. This will result in a partial eclipse for over 300 million people. You're probably thinking to yourself, alright, I've heard enough about the solar eclipse, I've been hearing about it for three months straight. That is true, so let's get on to the more exciting news. Last year in 2023, a new comet was discovered by the name of 2023A3. This comet will be exceptionally bright, even outshining Neowise from 2020. Depending on the sources that you read it from, it could reach magnitudes of negative one all the way up to negative five. If you wanna view the comet when it's negative five, I wouldn't count on it, but instead it will make an awesome spectacle because it will be naked eye levels for many, many months. The best times to view or image it will be right around September. It will be on this side as sunrise. However, after the 8th, you will be able to see it after sunset and you won't have to get up early to see it. All right, well that pretty much wraps it up for our first episode of Astronomy News. Uh, this video was put together really fast because we're actually leaving tomorrow morning. So there won't probably be an episode till next Thursday. So thank you guys for watching. If you guys like this video, uh, let me know down in the comments uh, and subscribe. See you guys later.